Hello everyone, welcome back to V2E Sikshana program. So myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. So in this mobile application development lecture, I will be demonstrating how to work with autocomplete text view. The topic that I'm going to select, that I'm going to complete in this particular class is autocomplete text view. What is this autocomplete text view? So with respect to working with the text views, we have three components. One is, as I mentioned, text view. This is for the result purpose. Other one is plain text. So in this we have lot of varieties. One is to read the email, password, phone number, uh, username, like that. We have lot of varieties in the plain text that will be used for the this is for output purpose, this is for input purpose. So instead of this plain text, if you want to give the suggestions to the user, for example, I am from Mysore. So the question is, enter the district. So we know that totally we have 28 districts in the Karnataka. So in such case, if you want to give the suggestions to the user based on their entry, for example, if they enter M, A, N. So it must give the suggestion that Mangalore or Mandia. If you want to develop application, if you want to make use of that feature, then it's better to go with this autocomplete text view. Means we are providing the suggestions based on the threshold. How many characters? Minimum, minimum character threshold should be presented there. So minimum character threshold means after entering the three characters from the user, we are going to give the suggestion. So that kind of input, if I, while reading the input, if you want that feature, then it's better to go with the autocomplete text view. This is for input purpose. So in this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the autocomplete text view so and I'm going to provide the uh, uh, feature, this autocomplete text view for the districts available in Karnataka state. Just observe, the application design is like this. This is my application where I will be asking the user to enter your district. And I will be providing a text box here to enter the districts. So once user enters uh, three characters, it must throw the suggestion. So for example, if I enter M, Y, S, it will show Mysore. If required, it is not mandatorily restricting you to use that feature use that Mysore only, but it is providing a hint. If required, you are entering Mysore, this is, might be the selection you have to select. If required, you can select that one. That's the role of autocomplete text view. To design this, I will be using this many features. Firstly, I enter your district. It's it. So firstly, I will go with constraint layout, layout itself. I'm not going to change the layout. So once I open the uh, mobile uh, Android, Android uh, studio, so I'm not going to change the layout. The layout will be present in the constraint layout itself. So after that, I'm going to use a text view to display the information that enter your district, followed by a checkbox, followed by a box where I'm going to read the district name that is. So it will, this will be autocomplete text view. That's it. It's a very simple example where I'm, I need to demonstrate the feature that is autocomplete text view with the title of just here I'm taking an example of various districts which are available in the Karnataka and I'm going to develop application here. So once the user enters three characters, it must show the suggestion. That's the outcome of this particular application that we are going to develop now. Let's start the demonstration. In this example, I will be demonstrating a wonderful uh, view that is autocomplete text view. What is this autocomplete text view? So text view as you know that uh, image view is responsible for displaying the multimedia images. The text view is responsible for displaying the text. 
So if you want to enter the details, then we are going to make use of headed text. If you want to display the result to the user, then we are going to make use of text view. So in this example, I will be demonstrating the text view, so which shows the suggestions to the user. So I guess you have experienced this kind of suggestions in uh, most advanced applications when you want to enter the details. So because the details that you want to enter, for example, Mysore, Mandya, Arasan, Bangalore, so based on the previous data that the user has entered, it will be recording the details and based on the details, it will throw you information that, so if required, you can select. So let's start a new project. So by creating a new project, I will demonstrate the autocomplete text view. Before demonstrating the autocomplete text view, first I will demonstrate the headed text followed by autocomplete text view. So the name of the project that I'm going to give is autocomplete text view. Auto complete application file. So I'm going to finish this. So my project is getting ready for the development. So I'm going to develop a simple application. So where I'm going to display my friend's name as a suggestions or when I can use the district names which is required. So Generally, this kind of applications will be, this kind of uh, features will be used in the most advanced applications where the, uh, for example, if you have entered your other number, that number will be displayed whenever you try to fill the application once again. So this feature is called autocomplete text view, where it is going to make use of the data which is there in that string and it will display it to you once again. So my application is ready, it's, uh, so here I'm going to use only one activity by because it's not a multi-activity application, it's a one activity application. So firstly I will demonstrate how the edit text is going to work. Just observe, I'm going to change the title. So however, the title is there. So I'm going to reuse, I'm going to give the text as auto complete application. And I'm going to increase the font size. Complete application. So firstly, let's start. So before I start, I will wipe the data away because I need to demonstrate the output multiple times. So every manager and I'm going to wipe the data. So wiped, so text view, just observe, this text view will be used to display the results to the user. So you cannot read the input from the user by using this text view. Similarly, this plain text will be used to read the text from the user. This password or password number, email, phone number, likewise you can use this many text views. So out of this text view, first level demonstrate, first level use this edit text. I'm going to set the constraints and in code I'm going to remove this text which is there name and I'm going to add int enter district okay just observe this is how the design is looks this is my design so if I execute this design, just observe how it works. I'm going to run this application. So I'm not using any autocomplete text viewer, just I'm using a simple edit text where I'm asking the user to enter uh, the desktop.
just I'm asking user to enter the district. So I will execute this, just observe. So I'm using very simple edit text here. So where I have provided an option to enter the district name. You may look into the output, so where you can observe a simple edit text that we used in our previous examples with information to print to read the district name from the user. So my output is almost ready, just I have not done the autocomplete select you as of now, just I am giving option to the user to enter the district. Just observe. So even if I enter, it is not showing any suggestions. So I am trying to enter Mandia, but it is not showing any suggestion. This is what we call static edit text where the suggestions will not be given to the user. In place of this static edit text, we can make use of auto complete text view, where if the user enters three characters, the remaining suggestion will be given by the text view itself. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this example. Just observe, I'm going to make it simple. Just I will delete this edit text, which, have, which we have added right now. I'm going to delete it. Delete. I have deleted the edit text and I'm going to change the layout. So in place of constraint layout, I'm going to use linear layout and I'm going to provide the orientation to vertical. Okay. So now I'm going to call that autocomplete text view feature which I have explained prior. So first I will add the text view to this one. So I'm going to give a text view here. So it's a very simple text view. I'm going to change the text and I will re-mention it here. Enter. the stick to which you belong. Enter the stick. So now you can observe the corresponding change in the code part. So I'm going to add one feature. So please observe while adding the autocomplete text view, if you go in the design and if you search for autocomplete text view, you can observe here. It will appear. Even you can do like this or even you can add autocomplete text view through code. Autocomplete text view. So it will ask for the 
width as well as height width means so fill the parent means it will occupy the whole screen height wrap the content means it will be for the specified size and I'm going to give the ID why because it's a very important attribute which is required to identify this particular component and ID as I'm going to mention the ID as txt distinct And I'm going to close this. So just observe, I have uploaded it. It's available here, autocomplete text. So just note down the ID that I've used here. The ID that I've used here is txt district, where the district will start with uppercase letter, which I'm going to refer in my Java part. It's of only five lines to make a normal text view to autocomplete text view by using the uh, string of details that you want to display as a auto details so let's start with the uh, logic part we are done with the design just observe the title is autocomplete application enter the district and if once you click on this district so it should show the suggestions so firstly I will declare the string with the name distake which I'm going to use in my program string the string name is district dist so firstly I will use my suru list of values that you want to display there mandya asan Bangalore, Mangalore. So enough. I will give. I will take only this much examples. Okay. So to display the list of suggestions to the user, these are the suggestions which are going to appear. So based on the user entry. So next, I will call array adapter, which is required. Why? Because we are using an array of elements or a string we are representing using various distinct names. So I will call array adopter. Array adopter. So and I'm going to pass that array adopter will be have making use of string, which is a new adopter. So which will be making use of string that we have passed and we have to use this keyword to remove the ambiguity and we have to provide the layout r dot layout dot support just observe it will make use of this support simple spinner down item layout means it will up, the drop down will appear spinner drop down will appear so once the user enters a set of characters based on the data that is there in the previous string which we have stored done so once after providing once after declaring the array adopter and providing the suitable layout to display the information in the form of a drop down next we will call the auto complete text view and i've already told to note down the id auto complete text view and i'm going to give the reference auto text is equal to find view by id r dot id dot text district this is what the id that we have given while designing next so after creating the array adopter with the drop down after identifying the autocomplete text view just observe here we have a, a warning just because we are not using a camel case naming convention if you convert that into camel case naming convention that warning will go 
so now we have to provide the threshold threshold in the sense after how many characters a user is going to enter that suggestion should appear so that threshold value should be provided here auto text dot set threshold so i will provide the set threshold as three characters after user enters three characters the drop down should appear with the suggestion so after three characters the suggestion will appear so then i will call auto test text view dot set i will call the adopter and i will provide the reference that's it clear it's a very simple example so the first thing is you have to call auto complete text view which is there in the design or you can uh, hard code the same so how you hard code the other but the thing please note down that while hard coding please make sure that you will provide the id so once after adding the auto complete text view note down the id then go for the design java part java part firstly provide the list of choices thus you wish to appear when the user clicks on the text view and enters three characters just here I'm, for us just simple example i have entered uh, five district names mysuru mandya asan bangalore and mangalore then i have called adopter array adopter which is a new array adopter which will make use of a layout as a spinner drop down item the auto suggestions will appear in the form of a spinner drop down once after calling the array adopter and providing the spinner drop down uh, layout so we will identify the auto complete text view based on the id that we have given in the design part so once after that we have to set the threshold after entering how many characters that auto completion result should appear so here i am giving three characters after entering three characters the uh, choice should appear then you will you must set the adopter so just observe now i will execute this so that the output can be observed so how it is different from the normal edit text that we use in the previous examples so i'm executing this this is a wonderful feature generally so advanced applications will make use of this feature so to provide the very good user experience why because any mobile application for that matter the main constraint or the main aspect is user experience to give a wonderful user experience this kind of small small features uh will have a huge impact on a overall application why right? because if a user wants to write type it again and again for the same details instead of that if you record that detail in the form of a string and if you use that in the auto complete text view one they might feel comfortable and even we have a threat associated with this one why right? because if, for example if we do the same for other details of the bank or passbook uh, account number or our ifsc code so that may be dangerous but with respect to general information we can use this kind of auto complete text views and we can uh, give a rich user experience to the users who are using our mobile applications but in the edit text uh, the user there is no possibility of giving this kind of user experience the user has to type everything manually so that's why the name is auto complete text view where we are uh, giving a possibility to the user to use that auto complete feature so my application is almost ready we can observe the output so once the application gets installed in this emulator
installation is happening so installation is done so you can see the output here auto complete application enter the district MEN the suggestions are here you can auto complete that one so if I enter MYS so it is showing the suggestion so based on why because have threat the threshold as three so based on the threshold so just observe if you enter two characters it will not appear so it requires three characters to show the suggestion just observe BAN it will show the suggestion this kind of text view is called auto complete text view which generally used in most of applications to increase the user experience thank you